In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to use Funk underscore move linear to make a working elevator slash moving platform in Source 2. Specifically, I'll be going over how to make an elevator, although this technique will work for any type of moving platform that you want to create. First off, you're going to want to drag out your elevator model. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using distillery underscore elevator. So place this model where you want it to be. I'm going to put it right there so the player can walk into it. And change its class to prop underscore dynamic. This allows it to, this allows you to access the hierarchy. Next up, you're going to want to create the function underscore move linear. So draw out a 2D box. It doesn't, need, it doesn't matter what size you want to create it. It just needs to be there. Click Control T to turn this into a mesh. And then up here in class, you're going to want to type in function underscore move linear. Click Enter, and that turns it into that. So you see this arrow here? This arrow shows you which direction the elevator is going to move. So if you want an elevator, you obviously want the elevator to go up. So point the arrow until it's facing up, and the elevator will go up. So click on the air entity, and you're going to want to give it a name. This name will be referred to later as we make the elevator move. So I'm going to name mine Mover1, and next step, click on your elevator, go into the hierarchy, and change your parent to whatever you just named your, your function underscore move linear to. I'm going to change it to Mover1, since I have changed it to that. In your function underscore move linear, you want to go to the move distance and speed, and change this to your desired variables. So the move distance is how much, how far in inches you want the elevator to move, and your speed is how many inches per second you want it to move. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep it 200 or 100, so it takes 2 seconds to go 200 inches. Next up, you're going to want to create your button, so you can actually get this elevator to start moving. So you can use any model or any, any shape you want. For this tutorial, for simplicity purposes, I'm just going to use a square. So once I get this into, into the play space... So once you get it shaped as you wanted, Click Control T, tie the select and mesh to an entity, and change the class to function underscore button. And then I click enter, and there you go. First thing you're going to want to do is, in the hierarchy options, set the parent to your mover entity that you already made for the elevator. This makes sure the button does not just stop in place when the elevator stops moving, and it actually continues and follows the path of the elevator as it travels. Don't worry about this white arrow right here, this is only needed if you want to make the button move. I will not be going over this in this tutorial. In the spawn flags of your button, turn on don't move and touch activated if you want your player to be able to just touch it and have it move. So for your function button, you're going to want to go into your outputs and make a new output called un, un, unpressed and then name your mover entity, so mover1 for me, and via this input you're going to want to open it. This, makes, this is the start of the entity of your mover entity. So when you type open, it does its first animation. If you type close, it does the same animation but backwards. If you want to put any other objects or props in your elevator, all you have to do is go into the hierarchy and add a... Here, let's see. I'll, I'll show you. So if we put a chair here, if we want to stay in this elevator and not get left behind, all we need to do, all we need to do is make a prop underscore dynamic. Make sure it changes to that. Hold on. There we go. Make sure it's prop underscore dynamic. Go to the hierarchy. Set the parent as mover, mover one or whatever you named your move linear, and that is it. You have to do this for every single prop you want in your elevator. That includes lights and entities. All right, so if, time to test this out. All right, so here we have the elevator, and it's a bit dark, but you can see the buttons right here. And if you click E on the button or press it in VR, you can see the elevator goes up. That is all for this tutorial. Uh, please leave a like and a comment if you want to see me. Or if you want me to show you how to do anything else in Half-Life, Alex's hammer editor. Uh, that is it for the elevator. It's not too complicated, and if you can get it memorized, you can make them pretty quickly and make some awesome things. Good luck.